Hi there. Welcome to Lesson 2 of the Art of Manliness, Blondes Prefer Gentlemen. In this session, this special lesson, I want to talk about correspondence. And we have four types of correspondence. We have the phone call, text messages, email, and snail mail. Now isn't it wonderful in the 21st century that we have other options because in those old-fashioned movies all they had was snail mail and so everything they had they had to take a lot of time, a lot of energy and there were some advantages to that but you know having everything immediate and not being able to practice a little bit of restraint before you say a little something that could be something that might not work in your favor because a lot of people respond in anger or whatever so uh, the guide <clears throat> to the art of manliness I do hope that you downloaded that free ebook I'm going to include the link of that again but it does have some wonderful tips that I just want to quick and uh, review some of those but for the phone call I just want to add some of my own things I, the whole point of being a gentleman is to be mindful of the other person and so when you're making a phone call think hmm is this a good time to call them and there's some ways that you can sort of maybe send a text message to say is this a good time to call or if you don't have that option to <clears throat> to uh, give a quick call and then immediately identify yourself hi this is Jeffrey uh, Bean, Jeffrey Rush, <laughs> whatever um, is this a good time for you? identify yourself immediately and ask is this a good time for you or something like do you have a quick minute that might be nice too so you say hi this is Diane Hanks is this a good time for you and if they say yes then great proceed but be brief I mean you don't have to take five hours to say what you could have said in 10 seconds uh, there's another link that I want to include that is so funny about this phone call about this guy just sweating and just dying to try and make this phone call to this girl well a gentleman understands how to use the phone and so don't fret about the phone call and there's another resource that I have loved reading called he's just not that into you and it has a whole chapter about the phone so uh, gentlemen know how to use the phone they don't abuse the privilege and they know how to use it so always be mindful always be mindful whether it's an employer um, an employee a girlfriend a wife whatever that um, what is good for them is this a good time for you I don't recommend staying on the phone all hours of the night either even if you're enjoying yourselves because remember you're being mindful of them if they have to get up and work tomorrow and you keep them on the phone until 2 or 3 in the morning then the next day they're gonna pay for that phone call even if you enjoyed it it still is selfish to you know take away somebody's very precious sleep you know how badly we need sleep these days so then let me move to the next part about text messages some people are still not on the unlimited text message plan so again be mindful of that and say you know what is your plan or can you accept text messages and and be brief something cute something nice not 25 in a row um, you know people don't want to be rude by not responding but for heaven's sakes after so many um, you know you're not being mindful about what they have going on and isn't it a concern for you if somebody has all the time in the world just to spend on you then if they're doing that when they're at work they're not being honest to their employer they're taking their boss's time away to spend it with you on the phone and that's not what a gentleman does either a gentleman is honest in his dealings and gives his boss his full attention and a, a good day's wage while he's there using his free time to call you and that sort of thing I'm I know that I've been focusing on interpersonal relationships but again that goes without saying so also the whole point about the voice message 
That's an interesting thing. Uh, again, immediately identify yourself and leave your phone number right at the very beginning. How difficult is it to have to listen to the whole thing to get the phone number and then you can't hear it again. So then you have to like listen to the whole thing again. So identify yourself immediately and leave your phone number immediately and then follow up with the phone call again. Or if it's not necessary to call you back, say that. Uh, it's not necessary for you to give me a call back. This is just a courtesy call that I wanted to make you aware of X, Y, or Z. Now, the next part in, uh, in this little <laughs> thing is email. And I, email is a very interesting one because there's a lot, of, a lot of creativity that can go on in an email. And there are a couple of things that I have noticed that gentlemen do when they send emails. Um, and this is going to spill over into another one. but. They use email as a, a virtual connection to the art that's inside of them, the music that's inside of them, the things of beauty. Like a, a gentleman loves to give flowers, so he can send a bunch of flowers virtually. It shows thoughtfulness. Again, that's exactly what a gentleman is, is thoughtful. Um, don't use the little abbreviations like LOL or OFL or whatever, and for heaven's sakes, don't ever, ever, ever use profanity. A gentleman never, ever uses profanity. And the little happy faces and stuff, that's really not becoming of a gentleman either. Leave that for the teenagers. Um, also, for the email, you know, one or two or three a day, not 33, not 17, uh, you know, just enough to keep in contact. And remember, be mindful of your recipient. Do they have time to go through that many emails a day? Um, now, also learn to spell and use proper grammar. Nothing is, it's so indicative of lack of caring for the recipient to not have proper spelling, especially in a professional or even personal note for that sort of thing. So when you are writing in an email, use proper spelling, use the little spell check, take another thing and, and respond, especially if, if it needs a response. Just even if you can't get to it, send that in the message. I got your email. I haven't, you know, I haven't been able to really delve into it. I'm just letting you know I received it. I had a girlfriend of mine recently tell me that um, this this guy who asked for a certain opinion for her, and she took a lot of time and wrote a special analysis out, and she sent it, and and he never responded. He didn't say, oh, that was interesting, or thank you for the time. I mean, nothing. There was no response. And so then she's left to wonder, did he get it? I mean, it was just rude to not even respond and acknowledge that he had received it. So don't do that. Respond. And, and check through the email once again and answer the questions. I have noticed some people, uh, they, they pick the one thing that they want to answer and they ignore all the rest of the things. Be mindful of that. Go back in and pick on through it. And, you know, make sure that you answer all of the questions. Use a new paragraph. Don't have run-on sentences. Um, <clears throat> now, please don't forward any chain letters or those kinds of things either, or any off-color jokes. A gentleman never tells off-color jokes. Now you know that. If you, even if you think it's so funny inside, you keep it inside. Don't spill that crassness over because in fact you are a gentleman and you don't want to taint somebody else with that. Um, that's it, gonna be in another segment, but just you know, humor that is in poor taste is not becoming of a gentleman. So be mindful of that when you uh, have a joke to tell. All right, now brings me to the last one and I have to hurry, which is snail mail. This is the only kind we used to be able to have. Um, this is an actual letter in the mail. Make sure that you use fine stationery. 
tell the person that they matter by handwriting something. And if you have the privilege of having their address, mail it something special. And don't put a bunch of confetti in it or whatever to do whatever. But um, these are some tips on corresponding like a gentleman in these special ways. Phone call, the text message, email, and snail mail. So thank you for joining me on this lesson, and I do appreciate you sticking with me. Stay tuned for lesson number three. I'm Diane Hicks.